So this is a character right here that I never thought that I would have in-house to see. I'm a big X-Men fan, but trying to get a hold of a Psylocke statue is not the easiest thing in the world. The last Sideshow piece to come out were close to four or five years ago. And truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of the way the portrait looks on that one. Now, all of a sudden, there's a resurgence in the character, and we're actually getting quite a few Psylocke statues that are being released. This being the first one that I'm getting a chance to look at, and next week, I'm going to get to see the Sideshow Psylocke, so I'm kind of looking forward to see how that looks. But let's break into this box and see what we're working with. All right, there's the first layer with the box open. Now, this comes in a nice, durable, you know, XM Studio style box. It's not quite as thick as the other XM Studios boxes that I've seen, but it is a lot more durable than, say, a Sideshow box. Uh, you do have one layer right here. This is what will have your figure. This is her portrait right there, as you can see, one of them at least. And uh, the various uh, parts that make up Psylocke herself. And then we take this layer off. All right, and then underneath the uh, second layer of foam is this massive looking sentinel head, which is the base. And holy mother, this thing is big. So while I'm unboxing the statue over there, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about our sponsor today, and that is Gemmer.com. So if you're into collecting like me, then you are everywhere on the interwebs researching and looking for items to fill your collection room, right? I know I do. So one of the best places I found to go to do that is Gemmer.com. And what the site is, is a social media site that's geared for collectors like you and me. You can go to that site and you can connect with other people that are into the exact same stuff that you're into by joining the various clubs that they have on their website. And they have everything from different genres like Transformers, Spider-Man, Marvel, DC, all kinds of cool stuff. So what you can do is you can go to the site and you can create a profile and you can create a catalog of the items that you have, stuff that you're looking to get, and you can even put stuff up there for sale so that if somebody else is looking for an item that say you have, then they can interact with you and you can maybe trade or you know sell the item if that's what you're looking to go do. Now for creators like myself, I found that it's a very cool site. It's because you could join the various clubs and then when you go to share content that you've created, you don't have to go to every single one of the groups and then take and post it here and post it there and post it over here. It's just a monotonous process. But with Gemmer, you can actually join all of these groups. You can take and create one post and then you can check off the various groups that you want to post that into and it's just one post. You don't have to take and do so many different ones. So I really like that about the site. So I encourage you guys to head over to Gemma.com. I left a link in the description below for you guys to get to it. Create a profile. Check out all the amazing clubs they have going on there. I'm sure you'll find something that's the right fit for you. Hey, while you're there, check out the MCE Club. Join it. We're always looking for new members. And now, let's get back to the unboxing. There she is all put together. This is the Psylocke statue looking very, very dope. This is one of these pieces though that I feel like the base takes away from the figure itself because this is one of the most impressive looking sentinel heads I have ever seen. It is huge and kudos to the fact that this actually looks like a sentinel head. You know, unlike what Sideshow did with their teal look, which I'm not complaining, that looks cool too, but this is what a sentinel head looked like back in the 90s at least for me anyway this is what i saw in the comics and this is what i saw in the animated series this is what a sentinel head should look like in my opinion this is a psylocke piece that comes with a ton of switch outs you got a lot of cool stuff so on one hand you have a katana you also have a switch out arm with another katana and these katanas are real metal so they're not very sharp but they're very metal you also have a switch out hand with the psionic blade, which I love. I love the fact that they did a clear resin for the psionic blade. It's because when the light hits it just right, it looks really good. And then you got some switch out heads. You have the uh, ninja portrait where she has the mask that's covering her face or half of her face anyway. So that's one option. You have another option where she has her psionic powers, uh, you know, manifesting or showing. And then it makes like this like butterfly effect on it. This one's okay. I can't say that it's the greatest, but it's okay. And then you also have this other portrait here where she's just got that resting bitch face. Or that or she smelled something bad. Could be me. These little strand hairs are super delicate. I mean, like super delicate. I thought that I might break one when I took it out of the box. So definitely be careful with that. Uh, the other cool part about this is, is that one of the eyes has a slot in it and it's so inconspicuous that you don't really notice it, but you can actually put one of the samurai swords 
uh, samurai swords, katanas, into the, um, get this out of her hand, into the eye, just like that. Slide it right in, bam! So, you know, that, that's how that would look. So I think that that's pretty neat, kind of fits the whole scene. So you have a place to put your samurai blade. Now, you can also put the katana in backwards on her hand, so it looks like she's holding it the other direction. But you do really gotta shove it in there if you wanna do that. So you can have her there like that. And there. And you can have her looking like that. So she has like the blades going in both directions. And that actually looks kind of cool too. So what do I like about it? This is an impressive display. This is something that when you have this in your collection, somebody walks in the room and they see this sentinel head and her sitting on top of it and they're just gonna be like, holy shit, that's a big ass head. <laughs> so I think that is something about this piece that it definitely would stand out. I like that. It has some really nice paint application. They have a lot of wear and damage all over the sentinel head, which I think looks really good. I do wish that they would have had a light up feature on one of the eyes, you know, maybe having like a flickering light. That would have been kind of cool. Um, her posture and everything looks really good. Skin complexion and the paint looks awesome. So I think they did a good job with that. Lots of nice shading through it. And overall, I think they did an excellent job on the paint. Superb idea making this psionic blade a clear resin uh, piece. I think that that is something that should have been done that way and they did it, so great job there. All the pieces fit in very nicely and the portraits, they fit in very nice with a really strong magnet. So I think that's really good as well. Uh, for its size, you know, it's not an overly heavy piece. So it's not something that you would have to worry about displaying on top of one of your shelves. I don't think that it's gonna cave the shelf in or anything like that. Uh, while I'm talking about size, let's uh, let's take some measurements so I can tell you, you know, what, what the overall size of this thing is. So uh, depth, you're looking at about mm, 19 inches, almost, you probably need about good 20 inches of, 20, 21 inches of uh, depth to put it in. Uh, height, you're looking at about 20, 21 inches in height. And then uh, width, with that sword, you're sitting at about 25 inches maybe. 20, 25 inches probably is what you would need width-wise to uh, fit this into a uh, display. So I don't think this is very easily gonna fit inside of a Besta, especially with that samurai sword. And some of it will probably stick out. So I, this is probably something better for like a Pax or to probably sit on top of a shelf. So that's just my opinion. Now, the things that I don't like about it, um, it's big. So again, that makes it hard to display. So that, that's the downside of having something as impressive as this. I think they could have done without the rocks and just left it at the Sentinel head. You know, I think that would have been just fine. And I probably would have cut down a little bit on some of the space. But with that sword going out the way it does, I don't, I don't think it'll cut that much. So it's overly big. The other aspect that I'm not a big fan about is the portraits. Now, I do think that your best option is the ninja portrait with the mask half covering her face. I think that makes her look kind of mysterious. She looks like a badass and I, I dig it. It just works with the katanas and everything. I like the look of that. Uh, my least favorite portrait is the psionic uh, appearance here. I feel like this gets in the way of the look. Um, there's kind of a split in the lips there that I'm not really digging. And you know, it, it's okay. I, I wouldn't say that this would be the way that I would go with her. So not my favorite. Uh, and then the middle of the way is this one here with the ponytail that, you know, she just has that, that resting evil face, you know, and you know, like I said, it looks like she looks like she smells something bad, you know? And the last thing I'm not a huge fan about is that she only sits in with one peg. So she kind of wobbles a little bit. I don't think that she's going to fall or she's going anywhere, but that's just something that not really, don't really feel comfortable about. This is definitely an impressive statue to see in person. It's got the size and it's got that comic book accurate look that I love. It looks cool. And it's like getting two statues in one. You know, you got a sentinel head and then you also have Psylocke and it looks fantastic. I think it's a very cool looking piece to see in person. Now, in my opinion, I feel that it's better than that Sideshow premium format Psylocke that came out years ago. It's a 100% improvement on that. But it schools out to lunch whether this is the best looking Psylocke statue out there. There's a few more statues that are still coming out that I would like to see in person before I give it that determination, but it's still a cool looking piece overall. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments.